ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋನ ಸಹವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯಂಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇರಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಸರ್ವಗಂ ಸರ್ವಂ ಸರ್ವೂತಗುಹಾಶಯ ಯತ್ಸರ್ವಿಷಯಾತೀತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಸರ್ವಿಧೇ ನಮಃ ಪ್ರಣ್ಣಾದ್ವೈವಾದಕಲ್ಪನಾತ್ಮವಾದಿ ವ್ಯಪೇತಶಂಕಾ ಮುಕ್ಷವೋ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪಥೇ ಸುರಿತ್ಯುತ ಸ್ವಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಮತೀವ ನಿರ್ಮಲ ವಿಕಲ್ಪನಾಭ್ಯೋ ವಿಪರೀತ ಅವಾಪ್ಯ ಸಮ್ಯಗ್ಯದಿ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತೋ ಭವೇದ ನಿರನ್ವಯೋ ನಿರ್ವೃತಿ ಮೇತಿ ಶಾಶ್ವತಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ ದ್ವಯವಾದ ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ಪ್ರಣುನಾ ರಫಿಟೆಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ್ವಯವಾದ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಟು ಡಿವಾಲಿಟಿ ನಿರಾತ್ಮವಾದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿರಾತ್ಮವಾದ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ನೋ ಆತ್ಮ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಯುಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಣುನಾ ಇಸ್ ರೀಸನಿಂಗ್ ಯು ರೆಫ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ದಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪೈಡ್ ದಮ್ ವೈ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದೆನ್ ಪರವಾದ ವಿಪೇದ ಶಂಕಾ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷವಸ್ಥಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಪಥೆ ಸ್ಥಿರಾಹ ಸ್ಯೂತ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಮುಕ್ಷವ ದಿ ಸೀಕರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಸ್ಥಿರಾ ಜ್ಞಾನಪಥೆ ಸ್ಥಿರಾಹ ಸ್ಯೂತ್ ದಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಫರ್ಮ್ಲಿ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪಾತ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿಪೇತ ಶಂಕಾ with all the shankas and doubts dispelled and removed from their mind paravadatah those shankas or doubts that were created or would have been created because of paravadatah was vada the views presented by opponents or other schools of thought 
to remove the possible doubts that they can create so that without any doubt they can make a commitment to the jnana patha to the path of the non-dual self, knowledge of non-dual self for that we did this and therefore now what the mukshus should do Svasakshikam, Gnanam, Ativa Nirmalam. This Gnanam, this knowledge is consciousness, yeah? Ativa Nirmalam, extremely pure. Because neither does it have, nor can it have any contact, any association with any impurity, that is duality. Svasakshikam, self shining, self revealing. Self-witness meaning self-revealing. As you said, na, swasam vedyam, not self-knowing, but self-revealing. Vikalpana abhya, vipiritam, advayam. The knowledge, the consciousness, advayam, non-diva. Vipiritam, quite contrary to vikalpana abhya. So, it is vikalpanas, meaning those who have not adopted the vision of the Vedanta or Shastra and therefore have made their own kalpanas, projections about what the reality is. They arrived at this conclusion by, based on their own reasoning and unfortunately all that reasoning is based on giving reality duality or thinking that there is no reality at all. Avapya Ativa Nira Ativa Niravam Jnanam Avapya This Jnanam attaining this knowledge Samyak Yidha Nishchito Bhavet If one gains firmly abiding in that knowledge Niranvaya, being free from anvaya, for any association, context, sambandha, free from all the sambandha or connection with all duality, all impurities, all ignorance, shashvatim, nirvatim, eti, attains a nirvatim, a total contentment, total satisfaction, ananda. Akhandananda, Advaya Akhandananda, Shaswatim abiding, everlasting Nirvatim Ananda, one attains. Niranvaya, Nirasta, Agnana, Tatkarya, Sambandha, Anvaya Sambandha, association, contact, relationship with anything that is samsara, anything that is impure. And Shaswatim, Shaswatim, Nirvatim, Eti, it is the eternal Ananda. So Niranvaya says the Atyandika Dukkha Nivrti and Shaswatim Nirvati says Nirvati Sa Sukha Vapti. Now continuing the Dika says Yathokta Jnana Adhikaryam Sankshipta Visheshana Saram Kathayana Kathayana was stating Yathokta Jnana Adhikaram Adhikari, the student or the aspirant who is fit for the knowledge stated earlier this one which is Paramam Nirmalam Swasakshikam Paramam Nirmalam this Jnana so Yathokta Jnana Adhikaram this knowledge also requires adhikaritva. Any knowledge requires, so this knowledge also requires a preparation, fitness. Sankshipta visheshana saram. The adhikaritva fitness will be stated in brief. Sankshipta visheshana saram. The very essence of the qualifications of this adhikari will be stated here. Not elaborately, later elaborate also will be stated. 
तत्वनिष्ठ लक्षण आह वट इज इट इज तत्वनिष्ठ लक्षण लक्षण कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ तत्वनिष्ठ अबाइडेंस इन तत्व वट इज इट दट वट डज इट मीन टू बी अबाइडिंग इन तत्व अबाइडिंग द ट्रूथ सो दट इज बींग स्टेटेड हि इदम रहस्यम परम परायण व्यपेतोषरभिमर्जित समीक्ष्य कार्यमतिराजवे सदा न तत्वस्वान्यमति कशन इदम परम इदम रहस्य परम पारायण दट इज रहस्य विस परम पारायण समीक्ष्य रिव्यूइंग इट व्यपेद अभिमान वर्जित व्यपेद दोष अभिमान वर्जित इन संक्षेप में अधिकारित्व व्यपेद दोष दो डिवाइड ऑल द डिफेक्ट्स अभिमान वर्जित इन स्पेशली अगेन डिवाइड ऑफ अभिमान और डिफ्राइड ऑल दोष शुड इंक्लूड द प्राइड बट मे बी becoming free from all doshas created a pride that i am free from all the doshas even that pride also is not there there is very subtle one by then samiksha this rahasya should be very well reviewed and contemplated upon sada aajave mati eva karya then is aajava the straight forward non dual ever pure innocent so in this truth alone they must have mati they must have commitment to this then na tatru swa swa anya matehi kasana na tatva dr but one who looks upon brahman as the truth other than oneself cannot be tatva dr cannot be no other tatva so there also is stated here so dika says continuing with the previous verse which said avapya samyak yadi nischito bhavet niranvayo nirvutame iti shashvatim yad avapya shashvatim nirvutam edi yad avapya attaining which शाश्वतिम निर्वृति में थी वन अटेन्स इटर्नल पीस इटर्नल फ्रीडम इटर्नल हैप्पीनेस एंड जॉय इदम सो इट्स एस इदम दिस वर्स बिगिन विद द प्रोनाउन इदम दिस व्हिच इज दिस व्हाट वाज स्टेटेड इन द प्रीवियस वर्स यत अवाप्य शाश्वतिम निर्वृति एति तद इदम दैट दिस rahasyam that is understand that tad rahasyam it's a secret meaning upadeshaika gamyam is secret means that one can never arrive at this and one can never know this by oneself because one will always seek to know it as an object of knowledge न तत्वदुक्सान अन्यमते ही कश्चन स्वन्यमते ही कश्चन वन हु हैज स्वन्यमते ही वन हु बिगिन्स विद असम्पशन दैट व्हाट वन वांट्स टू नो इज स्वन्य इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ओनसेल्फ फॉर दैट इज ऑलवेज रहस्य इट्स अ सीक्रेट बिकॉज़ इट विल नेवर अराइव एट इट और व्हाट एवर इट इज दैट द अराइव एट विल नॉट बी ट्रूथ therefore this is something which is to be only gained from the teacher says tikai so yat avapya shashvatim nirutam edi tadim rahasyam upadeshi upadeshi ka gamyam tattvam aupanishadam purusham in the bhagavad gita upanishad 
Yagnodi ask of Shakalya Tatum Openishadam Purusham. Do you know that Openishad Purusha? Purusha, the Chaitanya, the consciousness which is only expounded by Upanishad or which can only be known through Upanishad. Do you know that? So, Rahasyam Upadaishika Gamyam. Again, what is it? Paramam Parayanam. Paramam. Param means supreme. Paramatma Tattva Prakashaka. There is a curve missing there, I think. Paramatma Tattva Prakashaka Tvat Sarvottamam. Paramam Supreme Sarvottamam Most Exalted. So, why this knowledge is most exalted? Paramatma Tattva Prakashaka Tvat. Because this knowledge reveals the Paramatma Tattva. Paramatma Tattva, the truth of the Paramatma or the ultimate truth of one's own self because that's what this one reveals. Because nothing can reveal the truth of the self. Self is self-revealing. So if you are trying to know it through some other ways, it's not possible. Therefore, this knowledge which is Paramatma Tattva Prakashakattva this knowledge reveals the the truth which is the Supreme Self, Limitless Self. Therefore, Sarvottama, it is the most exalted Rahasyam and Parayanam, Param Ayanam, Param Niravadikam, Ayanam Sarvashrayam, Niravadika Sarvashrayam, Niravadika Without avadhi, without boundary, boundless, limitless. And ayanam means ashram, sarva ashram, which is abode of everything. That which is limitless, abode of everything, which is limitless, adhisthan of everything. Paramagati rupam, which is the ultimate goal for everyone. So this is Rahasya, this Rahasyam is Paramam, is limitless supreme, Parayanam, the ultimate goal for everyone. Evidam Atma Jnanam. So the Atma Jnanam also is here described in these words, Evam Vidam Atma Jnanam, Samiksha, Samyak Iksha. Reviewing it samyak in a very well, in every aspect. So one should very well see it, contemplate upon that, understand that. Sada arjave matihi karya. The truth is further here qualified or described. Sada arjave matihi karya. Vipaita doshai abhimana varjitai matihi karya. But those who are devoid of dosha or defects, abhimana varjitai, who are devoid of the abhimanam, free from abhimanam, the pride. So, what kind of dosha is talked about? Vipaita doshai apagata indira bhair mukhaihi. Apagatam Indira Bahir Mukhatvam Yebhya. Those from whom Indira Bahir Mukhatvam, the extroverted in the sense organs, Apagatam, has, has left. Those who are free from the, the sense of extrovertedness that arises from the Indriya sense organs seeking the happiness outside. So, extrovertedness is a dosha. Paranchikhani, Vyatuna Swambuhu, Tasmat Parangvasari, Nantaratman. This is the Svabhavika dosha. Dosha or the defect or blemish, if you want to call it, with which human being is born, is born with the tendency of being extrovert, seeking happiness or truth outside of oneself. 
There was Swanyamati. He is Swanyat Anyamati. His Mati, his conclusion is that truth is Swanyam other than oneself, happiness is other than oneself, truth is other than oneself, also therefore looking out. And that is called Bahir Mukha. Bahir Mukha extol is a person who has concluded that what he is seeking outside of himself. Not just the one who is thinking of external things. That's not that Bahir Mukha is one is a false conclusion. That what one is seeking is other than oneself. Because of that conclusion that the mind goes out searching for the truth and there were sense organs also go out searching for happiness etc. All of that activities of mind and sense organs are based on the basic conclusion of mind, of intellect. Abhimana Varjitai, that's why this verse says Nitatta Duk Sanyamatarihi Kasyana who is a mati that the truth is other than oneself cannot be tattvadruk. So samiksha. Therefore this has to be very well recognized, understood. Because the usual tendency is to seek truth for other than outside of ourselves. So remember that this one is teaching us the truth is your own self. Abhimanavarjitaihi. After the freedom from the defect of extrovertedness, some abhimanam, some pride can still be there. Panditya-di nivitta chitta dosharaitai that I understand, I am a pandita. So, that I am a tapasvi, I am a tyagi, I am a virakta, I am a pandita. So, aspirants can have this kind of abhimanam. I am great, I am, you know, that kind of vimana one may not have. That I am wealthy, I am famous, I am powerful. But this one can have the vimana, that I know what it is. And therefore, Panditiyari, I am a Pandita, I know. Meaning that if whole pursuit becomes only intellectual pursuit, then there will be vimana Panditya. It should not remain or should, you know, an intellectual pursuit. So, ajave mati hikarya evam vidahi adhikare bihi so chitta dosha rahitai shantai dantai sheti yavata vipayita dosha dantai hi those who have conquered the extrovertedness of the sense organs and Abhimana Varjitai, those are free from any Abhimana, any kind of a conflict that may arise because of the pride of any kind. So, Shantai, Dantai, Abhimana Varjitai, Shantai, Vipeta Doshai, Dantai, Diyavat, Yavam Vidai, Adhikari Vihi, Adhikaris, the qualified people of this nature, Arjave Sada Mati Karya. So Samiksha Samik Alocha Drikrutte Yavat. So Samik Alocha, reviewing, understanding very well, Drikrutte, developing conviction that this is what it is, what, what the Shastra says is what it is. So conviction with Shastra becomes my conviction. So that is very important. Because teaching of Shastra should not remain that this is what Shastra says. Which is all right. But ultimately my mind says that's what I know to be true. My mind also says. Even intellectually. Because at the intellectual level there have been very false conclusions because of thinking that what I am experiencing is duality and limitedness of the self. And therefore this conclusion should change that no, no, that limitedness is mitya, that duality is mitya in appearance. 
not a reality. So that is how Samyak Alocha Dhuri Kritya. When my conviction is in line, alignment with the conviction of the scriptures, Ivam Vinayi Adhikarevi Ardeve Sada Mati Hikarya. But Adhikari is aspirants of this nature. Shantehi, Dantehi, Samiksha, Dhrikritya. Arjave. Then Brahma is called Arjava Nirdosham. He is Samam Brahma. Called Nirdosham, Arjavam, straightforward, free from any defect. Now, why is Brahman called Arjavam? Rujubhavam, straightforward. Sarvasame, Brahmatva Tattva. Because Sarvasama, Nirdosami Samam Brahma, that Brahman is Samam, equally present everywhere. Brahman has no partiality or based on the name and form, there is no partiality nor cruelty. Samoham Sarabhuteshu Name Dveshyo Senapriya. So then will be called a straightforward person who has no dvesha or raga, no partiality nor cruelty. So ruju bhave, arjave, but arjave is different word ruju, means straightforward. Sarvada, saratra, ekarupatvat, because Brahman is ekarupam. Of the same rupa, same nature of limitless, whole and complete. Sarvatra. Everywhere, regardless of what the upadhi is. Whether devata or asura. Whatever be the upadhi. Brahman equally blesses them all. My sattas furti. So that Ravana can fight with Rama also is because only of Rama. And so Rama, who displays the dharma from one upadi, also displays the dharma from another upadi. So as far as Atma is concerned, has no partiality or preference that it should be only in Rama and not in Ravana. Now, how simple that must be, how innocent it must be, that this kind of, even a devil like Ravana also, does not create any reaction or rejection or resentment in that. It can equally accommodate sustain, provide sattas furti. Now how innocent and how uh, all accommodative it must be? <coughs> That's arjavam sarvada sarvatra ekarupatvat. <coughs> Tat swarupam eva arjavam nama. So brahma swarupam eva arjavam nama. It is brahma swarup, it is brahman. This is for whom that alone is called Arjava because Sarvatra Sarvada Ekarupam. Tasya Nirvisheshatva is Drashtavyam. So call it Arjavam, Nirdoshatvam, Nirvisheshatvam. Moment you possess a Vishesha, then you distinguish yourself from other somebody. That's called Vishesha, an attribute that distinguishes an entity from other entities. This is nirvishesha. Therefore, it does not distinguish itself from anything. That is why nirabhimanam. Brahman is no abhimanam. No dosha, vapeya dosha. So that is the reason why the 
Adhikaris are also sort of in tune with what it is that they want to know, what they want to become. Tathāca brahma bhedena atma jnāniṣṭhā tattva niṣṭhā yadi uktam bhavadi By this, it is implied that Brahma Abhedin Atma Jnanishtha. That Brahma is Ardhavam, Nirdosham, Samam. And so, Atma Jnanishtha, knowledge of Atma as identical to Brahman, which is Nirdosham, Sarvasamam, Ardhavam. <coughs> that alone is called Tattvanishtha. Abhidance in Tattvam, same as abhidance in Atma, when Atma is known as Brahman. So this is how Matihi Sadhakarya, Nishtha Sadhakarya. So in this Atma Tattva, Nishtha, first Nishtha is a commitment or a conviction that this is how Atma Tattva is. Next is the commitment or next is also a, a, a conviction that this is paramam parayanam, that this is ultimate goal, this is supreme and ultimate goal. And that it is my, it is my own self therefore has to be attained by knowledge and that knowledge requires a tuning of it, Brahman, which is what I want to know, and therefore, Vipay Roshai, Abhimana Vajitai, Shantai, Dantai. All these overall convictions should arise. What is it that I want to attain? What's the nature of what I want to attain? What's the nature of attainment, what is already attained? For which the means is knowledge. For which requires a tuning of it, what I want to know, because knowing is becoming. Therefore, I must become similar to Brahman, meaning that I should cultivate those qualifications. All of this is involved, you know, in this Mati. Etadeva Vyatareka Kathanena Vishayari. So Vishadayati clarifies this by Vyatareka Kathena by stating what is contrary to that, how what is contrary is totally opposed, how that cannot lead to what human being is seeking. So last line says, Natatvadruk Swanyamatehi Kaschana Kaschana Swanyamatehi Ya Kaschana Swanyamatehi Yekasa, whoever he is, Swa Anyamatehi. Pratigatmana, Anyasmin, Brahmani, Matihi. So Swasmat, Anyasmin, Matihi, yes, he says, Swanyamatehi. Anyasmin, Matihi, Anyamatehi. Murus Mati. Our conclusion, conviction is Swasmin Anyatra or Swasmat Anyasmin in someone, something other than oneself. The truth is something other than oneself. This is what the Mati or the conclusion is for anybody. Pratigatmaha Anyasmin. The truth is Anya different from Pratyagatma, my indwelling self, that I am. The truth is different from me. So one who is seeking Brahman as something different from oneself, Saswanyamati. So therefore this is very important. What is it that am I seeking in life? As long as one is searching for truth outside of oneself, so long this can never be attained. And therefore, the mati or the conclusion, conviction must be right from the beginning. 
that what I am searching for is my own self. And that mati should reflect in everything that I do, everything that I think, ultimately. My convictions, my values, my attitude, everything should reflect that, that what I am seeking is myself. What is, is myself. So that can become a reality for me, provided it is my conclusion to begin with and that is what becomes the basis of what I think and what I do. Not that my convictions and values and attitudes are different. And I hope to achieve this is not possible. So that conviction of non-duality must translate itself at every level of my life. Because the usual tendency is always to look outside of oneself for what one is seeking. The basic conclusion is what I am seeking outside of myself. And that has formed all the values. The values are based on that conclusion. So there is something to be sought. So then there is desire. Because there is always desire for something other than myself. The mind will become free from desire only when the mind is convinced that there is nothing to be sought. Until then it is always seeking something, to become something. And so that's a different way, then the values are different, everything is different. Because there is nothing but only encouraging and perpetuating ignorance. So Svanyamati is what we are born with. And not only a samsari, a, a gross person, but even a sophisticated person also can be Svanyamati. A scientist also Svanyamati or even a tattva chintaka. As long as conclusion, I am not what I am seeking to be. Looking at myself, I can never feel that I am what I am seeking. And then my conclusion to myself is very firm. I am helpless, helpless creature, I am no good. That is, that is the conviction or conclusion. Sana tatpaduk tatvadushtihi na bhavadi It can never become the knower of truth. Tadeva brahma tvam viddhi nedam yadim upasate The teacher in Kinopanishad says, Tadeva Brahmatvam Vidhi, may you know that to be Brahman. Yadvacha Anabhidratam, Yenavaga Bhyudyate, Tadeva Brahmatvam Vidhi, Nedam Yadim Upasate. Yadvacha Anabhidratam, that which cannot be uttered by speech, cannot be revealed by speech. Yenavaga Bhyudyate, because of which the speech is uttered or speech is able to reveal both ways. Speech can be the organ of speech, speech can be the words also. So organ of speech utters things and words reveal the, the things. That which cannot be uttered by speech. Because if speech utters, that it cannot be meaning of a word, that which is the, you know, because of the word is able to give meaning. Tadeva Brahma. That's your own self. Na idam, yet idam upasate. That which you are, you are meditating upon as something different from you, that cannot be Brahman. So that Brahman is you, is revealed in this manner. Anya devata dhiratat atho aviditadadhi. Same thing. Yet vacha anabhiditam. Yena vaga bhyudyate. Yen manasana manute. In all of these, the, the duality or the natural tendency of the student to look outside is what is now, a teacher is, wants to negate that, or wants the student to see. Athayo nyam deyatam apaste anyo so anyo hamasmiti nasavede iti shvute. Uthadarnika Upanishad. That one who worships a devata with the conclusion that 
Devata is different and I am different in the same way that he does not know. That's how ignorance is described there. Yenam veti hantaram yasenam manyate hadam uvautana vijaya. So Bhagavad Gita describes ignorance as one who thinks that I am a killer or I am killed. Karta or bhokta. But that's the problem in, in Bhagavad Gita that is addressed. Here, one who believes or worships Devata as different from oneself, he doesn't know. Evam atiyatnagabhyena jnana kim phalam sadhyate Jnana by the knowledge, atiyatnagabhyena is very evident that this knowledge can be attained with great effort. First of all, cultivating the, the maturity, the preparedness. Also, recognizing the subtlety and the, effort, the intellectual level also an effort, and the emotional level also an effort, and then Shravanam, Mananam, Nidhyasana effort. Ati Atnalabhyena Jnana Kim Phalam Sadhyade. What Phalam? What reward? What result, benefit is realized by attaining this knowledge which requires so much commitment and effort. That must be worthwhile. If so much effort is involved then also the, re- the result must be worthwhile. So the verse 71 says, Aneka janmantara sanchitair naraha Vimuchyate jnana nimitta pātakai Vimuchyate jnana nimitta pātakai Idam viditvā paramam hipāvanam Idam viditvā paramam hipāvanam Nalipyate vyom iveha karma vihi Nalipyate vyom iveha karma vihi Idam viditva, gaining, knowing this truth or gaining this knowledge. Agnyan mitta patakaihi anega janmandara sanchitaihi agnyan mitta patakaihi naraha vimuchade. Naraha vimuchade, the human being vimuchade becomes free from. Pātakaihi, from all the sins, agnyāna nimitta pātakaihi, all the sins of which agnyāna is nimittam caused by ignorance. So ignorance causes basically the idea of my being a jīva or limited entity. And therefore a false notion of bondage, limitedness, inadequacy and therefore that prompts a desire for becoming free from bondage, becoming free from adequacy. This is automatically takes place. So desire is the natural outcome of the ignorance which is the nature of the superimposition, a vikshepa. I am not knowing the true nature of myself and Vikshepa taking the anātmā, what is not self, to be the self. And naturally that creates a sense of limitedness, inadequacy. And that creates a strong urge to become free because I cannot accept inadequacy about myself. The limitedness centered on I cannot be accepted. Limitedness centered on body, mind, sense organs, anātmā, I have no problem with. The problem is inadequacy that is centered elsewhere. It's thought to be centered on me. That is, this is a basic problem. And there is no way for me to know that this is Brahman. 
this conclusion about myself, the inadequacy about myself, is not a reality about myself. I see the whole world functioning that way. Whole world functioning based on the assumption that I am an inadequate being, I become adequate. Inadequacy may be defined as lack of wealth, power, name, fame, happiness, X, Y, Z. All kinds of things lack can be there. So, pati, patni, putra, vitta. And all these things can, the absence of this can create a lack. So, a person naturally keeps on acquiring these things. Basically, become free from any inadequacy or lack or want. So this creates desire, which in turn creates action. And depending upon the strength of the impulse of desire, sometimes the desire overwhelms my sense of rightness, righteousness and therefore forces me also to resort to unrighteous ways. Desire may result into anger, greed, and then can force me into adopting unrighteous ways. Kamesha, Krodesha, Yajogana Samudhava. So that's a papa also is, you know, takes place. Usually I am a conscientious person. Quite aware of what these scriptures prescribe. And my first attempt is to stick to those values because that is what basically I love. I love righteousness. I don't love to be unrighteous. Dharma is what I love. But then the pressure of the desires, the inadequacy, etc., you know, sometimes then forces me to compromise the dharma. That's how Adharma also comes. So Agnyana Nimitta Padakaihi The Dharma, Adharma, the actions prompted by Dharma, Adharma, both of them are prompted by Agnyana. Because even if I do something as prompted by Dharma or righteousness, see I want something and therefore the sense of lack is going to be perpetuated even through virtuous actions. I may get an embodiment which is virtuous, meaning that which is more exalted than human beings, which may give me superior pleasures, but cannot make me free from the conclusion of inadequacy. That's an unfortunate thing. Experiencing happiness is one level, and conclusion of inadequacy at other level. So then all the experience don't change that. So from Swarga also I come back with the same conclusion of inadequacy. Again I start performing karma, dharma, dharma. And that's how agnyana nimit. So pataka includes both dharma and dharma. Both of them nimitta caused by agnyana. Anika Janmantra Sanchitaihi And this is Prakritim Purusham Cheva Vidyanadi Ubhavapi There is no beginning. So, who knows how many births I have gone through? Not only I have gone through, I must have gone through countless embodiments, but countless human births also. Because this Punya Papa can only be carried out in the human birth or human embodiment. Even countless human embodiments also I must have gone through because countless is countless. Even though there are supposed to be 8.4 million embodiments, but if those are all taken countless number of times of them, the human embodiment also must have been taken, you know, countless times. Anika Janmantra Sanchitaihi Matakaihi 
the three results of karma phala which I have been accumulated sanjitahi were countless past births the reason why the bondage is presented in this manner is that there is no way that one can become free by performing karma or by, by any other means this is a formidable task so no effort can ever make me free from these effects accumulated over countless births which is what human being is striving to do idam vidyatva nara muchare vimuchare by gaining this knowledge one recognizes that i am adequate inadequacy is false and therefore that viveka gnanam enables me to see where the fallacy has been the conclusion changes that everything changes and in course of time then all the consequences of ignorance which have been rooted in me all of them will be rooted out samyak vyavasito hi sah when samyak vyavasaya is vyavasaya conviction the true conviction takes place then that conviction will work kshipram bhav dharmaatma shashvat chhandim nigachade become dharmaatma attains the lasting peace idam vidyatva paramam hi pavanam pavanam the purifying this knowledge nahi gnana sadusham pavitram hi vidyate there is no great purifier than the knowledge because primary impurity the vidya or ignorance all impurity is ultimately are born of ignorance there are other purifiers but then they live ignorance intact unfortunately therefore the original cause of the impurity doesn't go away agnanam so gnanam eliminates that dispels that so paramam hi pavanam the supreme purifier viditva gaining this knowledge of the self of brahman the supreme purifier the knowledge supreme purifier what is known or is supremely pure and knowledge supremely purifier once that knowledge is gained nalipyate vyoma ivah karma bihi the person appears to continuing to perform karma you say that on account of accumulation of the karma and the countless past births all these bond all these problems are created that even after attaining knowledge he seems to be continuing to perform karma that does he not continue to accumulate the pataka or papa nalipyate vyomai vehe karma bihi karma bihi nalipyate neva kinchit karomi ri yukto manyeda tattvavit इंद्रियाणी इंद्रिया वर्तंते गुणागुण वर्तंते मन सज्जते सो वाइस पर्सन नो ऑल एक्शन आर परफॉर्म द लेवल ऑफ दी सेंस ऑर्गन्स एंड सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन माय प्रेजेंस सो फॉर्मली वाज परफॉर्मिंग कर्म नाउ कर्म गेट परफॉर्म्ड इज नो डिफरेंस देयर डिफरेंस ओनली मेद तत्वित परसेप्शन तत्व विद नॉट दट दी द चेंज दट कर्मा फॉर्मली वेर परफॉर्म इन नॉट बींग परफॉर्म एट सेट्रा व्यवहार कंटिन्यू टू टेक प्लेस एट इट डिड बट नाउ तत्वित मेत नोर ऑफ टू सुनो नईव किंचित करो मेरी आई डो नॉट डू एनीथिंग And that way, karturatva, atma can never get tainted by karma. 
But because of Kvatrutva, Atma was as though affected by karma. When that Kvatrutva is not there, no more there, nalipyade, yuma ivehe karma bihi, karma bihi nalipyade. He does not anymore get tainted by karma. Vyoma iva, just the space, does not get tainted by anything that he accommodates also. The wise person doesn't get tainted by any karma. That continue to be performed in his presence. That he appears to be performing by those karma also, he does not get tainted. <coughs> so in the, in the See, karma is a big deal here, that is why the karma sannyasa is much emphasized because karma is not the means. So karma doesn't create problem, doesn't solve the problem, doesn't create the problem also. And so, basically keeping in mind the mimamsakas this karma has been stated because earlier also we said that he should give up karma. So very emphatic about karma sannyasa. So that karma be now even if he appears to be performing karma, naiva kinchit karma be di. Iha karma be nalipyade. Here or elsewhere he doesn't get tainted by the karma. So this is the jivan mukti that is described here. For the for the wise person. Evam idam jnanam acharya kasmi datavyam. Idam jnanam this knowledge. Acharya kasmi datavyam. Who is it? that this knowledge should be imparted by the teacher, the apekshayam. So concluding this chapter by emphasizing the need for the adhikaritvam and also instruction to the acharya. How this knowledge should be imparted only to adhikari and not to be imparted to anadhikari. So this point has is being made in Upanishads also, and that point is made here at the conclusion of this chapter. Idam jnanam acharyena kasmayadatam yadhyapekshayam. If this question is there, expectation is there to know who is it to whom this knowledge will be imparted. Vistruta visheshanam adhikaranam aha. Sankshipta Visheshana Sara, or earlier Sankshipta Visheshana. Adhikari Vipeya Doshe Abhimana Vajita, this much was stated. Now, Vistruta Visheshana. And so, Sankshipta Visheshana, Vistruta Visheshana. Therefore, now in detail, the Visheshana or the attributes of the Adhikari are stated here. Prashanda, it is the next verse. <coughs> Prashanta chittaya jitendriyaya jitendriyaya cha Prashanta chittaya jitendriyaya cha Prahina doshaya yathokta karine Prahina doshaya yathokta karine Kunan vitaya nugataya sarvada Kunan vitaya nugataya sarvada Pradeya me tatsatatam mukshave Etat satatam mumukshave pradeyam. Pradeyam, this should be imparted to mumukshu. So there is here now like an enjoyment. Ividhi. Last line says, Etat mumukshave satatam pradeyam. It seems to be the duty of the acharya also to make sure that this knowledge is imparted to the mumukshu. So mumukshave, da, governs fourth case. So mumukshave, 
ప్రదేయం దాతవ్యం వాట్ కెన్ మూవ్ టు ప్రశాంత చిత్త విచ్ కేస్ ఆల్ ఫోర్ కేసెస్ సు ప్రశాంత చిత్త ముక్షవే జితేంద్రియాయ ప్రహీణ దోషాయ యథోక్త కారణ గుణాన్విత్య అనుగతాయ సర్వదా ద మోక్షు సరిస్ఫాయ్ దిస్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ టు వన్ సచ్ ఎస్ దట్ దిస్ నాలెడ్జ్ షుడ్ బి ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆల్సో ఈ షుడ్ నాట్ బి ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు ద వన్ హూ డస్ నాట్ ఎంజాయ్ దిస్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్స్ అండ్ షుడ్ డెఫినెట్ బి ఇంపార్టెంట్ టు వన్ హూ పజెస్ ఇస్ దిస్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ సో విల్ కంటిన్యూ టు మోరో పూర్ణమదూర్ణమిద పూర్ణాత్పూర్ణముదే పూర్ణస్ పూర్ణమాదాయ పూర్ణమేవశిష్యే శాంతి 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 శంకర శంకరాచార్య కేశవం బాదరాయణం సూత్రహాష్యకృత వందే భగవంతరోరాత్మే మూర్తిభేద విభాగినే వ్యోమవ్యాప్తేహాయ దక్షిణామూర్త నమ శాంతి 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 హరి ఓ శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ హరి ఓ